closed all this. I'm like, what the heck? The air is coming from the little hole in my chest. Good morning, y'all. Hey, welcome back to my channel. The light is like okay. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's Tuesday early. What time is it? Seven thirty-two. June fifteenth. Um. Ever since I got this surgery, uh, I get sleep. Um, this is only my second day even sleeping in my bed since I had the surgery on June 3rd. But I get sleep, but I get up so early. Um, but yeah, I'm up um, on this computer about to print some labels because um, some people bought some stuff off my Poshmark. So I'm finna get that printed out. And also I need to go to the bank. Um, my sister is here, but she sleep. She got me blocked in. So I'm gonna see if I can move a quarter out the way, which I still don't think I'm just fully ready to drive, but I need to get something done. So I'm gonna try to make it to um, the post office and to the bank and back home. So I'm on here, I'm finna print out my uh, labels, which I'm excited because in my last vlog, I showed you all my new label printer. So I don't want it to just sit up and collect dust. So yeah, three people bought something off my Poshmark on yesterday. So I'm up, ready, excited to use this label. So I don't have to worry about going to ups that's what i used to do when i wasn't at work i go to ups to print out my um labels or when i'm at work which i'm out of work right now when i'm at work i print it off at work but since i'm home i can print it off at home which means i can get more sales out faster which is always good <laughs> So, yep. After I do that, I'm going to package them up and try to make it to where I need to go. And here comes my label. The best, the best investment that I bought. Oh, shucks. <laughs> Hey y'all, I'm back. Um, I already went to the post office um, and back home. I was, um, let's see if I can put this on. I don't have no car, ma'am. Anyways, I was going home. Um, I was looking at my incision yesterday um, and it was like really wet the, in the middle of my chest. Right there where told them about it at my follow-up appointment in Miami and the lady she stare stripped it I didn't get to see the doctor um that day because I was kind of trying to like think it's a little open when, when she took the tape off um and cleaned it it was just very 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 little so she just stare stripped it and taped it up told me don't get it wet um don't take the tape off or none of that which I didn't but it started like First of all, my uh, right drain has been draining a lot. Um, and I'm only 12 days post-op. Um, but it has been draining a lot. And so I still have these stupid drains. Um, I'm really trying to pay attention. Um, nobody hit me, but I'm hurt. But anyways, uh, so it by, by it's draining so much in the middle um of my chest like it really the stair strip came off the tape was coming off and like it was just basically just wet so i was like okay i get some um gauze i need some stair strips or whatever but i was like i need to look at it because i don't know what's causing it to get that wet you know and it was like kind of nasty like so i just uh removed the little wet stuff off which is basically just slid off um, and it was open. I don't know if that's like, uh, um, what they call like a splitting stitch. But it's not like wide open my skin hanging out. But I don't know if it's like a splitting stitch 
or whatever. So I was like, okay, I was just cleaning with um, sterile, normal saline. And then I had, um, I was gonna cover it with gauze and kind of trying to uh, keep it clean and dry. So upon doing that, I noticed that my right side of my drain had blew up like a balloon. I don't know if you know about the J, J Pratt um, drainage tubes. They are suction and you have to keep them um, squeezed and closed and they like pull the fluid from from your wound. But they, if it's blowed up, it's not gonna pull anything. So I didn't, I'm like, okay. So I squeezed it back and put the, two, put the little knot, the, the little thing in there and I could hear like it's some air. Uh, and it was steady blowing up real slow. Like I'm listening to the thing. Like, dang, is the earth? Is it a hole in my tube? Blew up, and it blew up. I can't hear it from the tube. So I'm like, where? So I did it again. So I listen. I'm like, what the heck? The air is coming from the little hole in my chest. So I'm thinking that the tube is us. <clears throat> the tube is under my arm, and it kind of goes under my breast. And I'm thinking it's long, and it's going all the way to kind of to the middle of my chest where the hole is and then the air is coming through. So I'm like, dang, this is the side that was draining the most, which means that the drain probably wasn't ready to come out yet. The left side, I've been getting under 25 um, milliliters every day. It's still draining, but it's under. Um, the right side, I've been getting more than 25 every day. So I was gonna just leave it in until I got under 20 cc's of fluid. Um, but now it's not gonna drain anything because the drainage, the bulb on the JPEG, J, whatever, the drainage thing is blowing up. So it's not gonna be suctioning any fluid out. So I'm just gonna go to the hospital and I'm gonna let them look at my incisions and also let me know about these drains. I don't know if they want to remove them. Um, I don't know what they want to do, but I just want to act early um, just in case because I don't want at the last minute, you know, wait around trying to doctor on myself and all that and it get worse or I get infected or anything like that. That's the only thing about when you go out of town or abroad follow-up care like I'll have to fly all the way back to Miami for the surgeon to see and that's even if I see him because in my follow-up I didn't get to see the doctor so um like I mean I I don't mind getting plastic surgery but I would rather not get cut unless it is local um like with liposuction it does see the little holes are you really small or whatever and you don't have a massive cut to try to heal or all of the stitches and all of that. So I'm on my way to the hospital for them to look at um, my scar, my incision and to let me know about my drains. Um, and that's pretty much it.
my GPS was like, as long as I've been living in Dallas, I still, I know about where I'm going, but I don't know exactly. And I, I think I could have probably went another way. So let me use my GPS so I can go on and get to this hospital real quick. And I will pick y'all back up. Here at the hospital, I'm gonna go in here, see what the tail is. It's hot. So I am waiting on to go to the back. They call me, triage me, but they have um someone coming in on the ambulance or something like this. So I'm going to wait. So basically, mm, so basically they're going to do some blood work, to make sure my incision is not infected. Um. I don't know what else they're going to do. That's all she told me. Probably patch it up, hopefully. So, yeah, I'm just waiting. They say um, no cell phones in patient care areas, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to record any. But I just hope I don't be here all day. So Republicans are fractured and phony. Did this strike you as someone whose entire soul calls for unity? Mm -hmm. oh, I... Yeah, it's the party of unity, as so we're told. But listen, I hate to burst uh, sleepy hearts so Trump supporters. Yep, I will check that in and later. We're not going anywhere. They can bring up the universities every day they want to see. The thing about being a nurse. I could have did this myself. I probably done racked up a bill for nothing. Only to get told that to put some gauze on it, let it heal, and close it off. Put some antibiotic on it, which I already did, close it off with gauze, and let it heal itself. Or go back to my Emmys for him to try to fix it and close it up. So I'm just here for nothing all day which they finna put the gauze on it and close it up, put some antibiotic on it. I mean, yeah, antibiotic, close it up with gauze. No stereo strips, no nothing. So I could have did this at home like I already did. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't infected. I'm ready to go. I will check back in in a minute. Oh, 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 I look rough, 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 rough. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, I, I left the um, hospital. I finna head home. And uh, they did um, just close off my my little um, incision right there where it was coming apart it with a wet to dry dressing and covered it with a piece of Tegraderm which is like a clear film um, to protect it from water or, you know, anything like that. And when I compress my uh, drainage tube, it stay compressed. So the hole is sealed. So I'm going to leave these drains in for, I'm just going to monitor it just to see if I would get any additional uh, fluid out. Um, like it was draining the other day. It was draining pretty good. I'm going to run home. I look boy i didn't i didn't do my bun today i didn't know i was gonna be at the hospital that long this hospital i'm usually in and out so i'm finna um rush home um and i'm finna clean up my room and stuff um but yeah i'm feeling good i'm not i wasn't ever feeling bad it's just that i could tell right there where the incision was coming apart probably gonna go home and call my surgeon office just to see what they instruct me to do i may even have to ride back to miami i don't know i'm gonna let the police see i'll be holding my phone but anyways um let me focus on the role my baby girl is calling me
me on the line and I am recording off of my iPhone so I will hit y'all back up when I get home. Okay yeah. <laughs> been a long 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 day i just like let me pick up this camera while i'm doing something to my face so update on everything um when the okay when the uh nurse at the uh hospital patched up my um my wound my incision right there where it's trying to come apart it's really like a little hole, but when she patched that up, um, cause they didn't take out the drains, um, they don't want to touch that, which is a very expected. A lot of people, a lot of doctors and and places don't want to work after another doctor's work, which that's kind of I was already expecting it. I'm in the um medical field, I know all of that, but anyways, when she patched up. Um, my incision with the uh, um with to dry dressing um it sealed it off and when I already I just said let me try this J prep too because I didn't want to just in there um just hang it in there if it's not doing nothing I was gonna take it out or go get it taken out or like I said I work at a doctor's office um schedule me an appointment to get it taken out and I have um a friend who's an RN, um, who I was going to get to take it out. So, but when I did that, when I compressed it, um, it started back suctioning again. So I'm guessing with the, um, dressing in place, it's covering up wherever the air was coming through it. And so it's back, um, suctioning and draining. So that's good. Like I said, I wasn't ready to take it out anyways. Like I said, I was still getting a lot of fluid on my right side. So I didn't want to take it out yet. So that's that with that. Um, they didn't stare strip it at the um hospital either. But and I kind of see what they was talking about because I did get some stare strips. Um, and I tried to stare strip it up, but I'm guessing the amount of skin gravity is really working against it, but the amount of skin that is pulled up, the stare strip really don't have nothing to close. So I'm probably gonna have a squatter. Like the rest of my body scar so easily anyways that I'm gonna have to work on. Okay, so and um um I ended up stair stripping it up, um, putting a dressing with a triple antibiotic on it of gauze and covering up with tape. Um my friend that's an RN, my nurse friend. She told me, um, she used to work in a plastic surgery office and she told me a different way by my decision. It's like, first of all, a reverse tummy tuck is not that common. And then the way my incision is, um, by him coming all around to the side to remove that skin, um, I need it all compressed for the fluid drain for with compressed, when it's compressed, it hurt less. Like, I've been wrapping basically myself up like a mummy. <laughs> but anyway, she was saying that um, if I kind of go around with an ace bandage and use that instead of the binder, and I'll be able to cross in the middle of my chest, that pressure alone is going to feel so good. And um, also, it'll keep it compressed, keep the skin together, and probably help it to heal faster. So, I ordered some gauze off of Amazon and I'm going to try and wrap my um uh myself the way she told me to and not the way she the way she explained it I think it's gonna feel so nice. Right now I just wash my face every night. I do some kind of skincare routine rather it's it may be simple like this. I'm just using this I found this scrub um and it say it improves your impurities for glowing skin. My uh my one of my little daughters, um, she Z, she wanted to do me a face facial. Um but her, my little uh, nephew came over here and they all in there doing their own thing now. So I was like, well, she wanted to put me on a mask, because I still may put that mask on, a peel off mask. 
So I'm washing my face now and I might put the mask on. I'm so sleepy though. I might put the mask on and let that sit and then peel it off and then go to bed because I am trying to have this skin popping and glowing, popping and glowing. So I've been doing a little stuff to my my face and it has been going, look at my face red. It's for me exfoliating it with them beads, but it, it won't be ready tomorrow. But yeah, my skin has been glowing and it's been looking really pretty. Cause like I really don't wear no makeup at all. I did uh, find some. Um, uh -oh. I did find some makeup that I said I was gonna try one day. What's the name of this? It's called. Um, let me see. No. No makeup foundation. It's made by Pericon MD. I got it in two colors. Um, this is tan, which it might be too light. I don't know. This is golden. Um, I don't know. Like I got it from Nordstrom's Rack. I ordered it off of Nordstrom Rack for thirteen dollars. Excuse me, because after I looked up that um that no makeup makeup whatever that is, it is sixty dollars at Sephora and sixty dollars at Ulta. So I'm like thirteen dollars. That's a steal. So I'm just gonna one day just put a little bit on it and see what it do to my face. I mean, it's it's very expensive. So hopefully it do something and hopefully it match. I don't know, but them the only two colors they had on sale. If not, I probably posted on Poshmark or something. I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. But I just want to try. Yep, yeah, I need to get my eyebrows done so bad. Um, and I want to get me some braids for the summer. I never wear braids, but I'm thinking, because you see my forehead be, but I'm thinking, um, some braids, um, because I think we're supposed to take, like, a family trip, um, next month, at the beginning of the month for the 4th of July weekend, and it's going to be, like, outside, beachy type scenery, um, even though I may not get in no water, you know how I'm healing, but I'm going to be cute. So, I'm thinking the beach. I mean, I'm thinking the braids. Therefore, you know, I wear leave out. I don't have to worry about my hair curling up when it get wet or I'm sweating too much and all that. I just try to try the braids out. And I want to try something new anyways. Like I said, I'm trying to glow up, grow up, you know, try new stuff and... I don't know, overall, level better myself. But yeah, that's it. That. I'm gonna wash this off my face and probably apply this face mask. My daughter will be mad because she can put it on, but she playing and I'm tired. I'm ready to go to bed. You said it smells like soap. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all see that? Okay, so my daughter finna put this face mask on hey, my face. Hey, look, there's a car. You mean rubbing it in together? No, rubbing my face. Cover my face with it if you gotta get some more. That's why I said you put it on your fingertips. Those are weird. Yeah, that's why you gotta put it on your fingertips, mama. So you, where the thing that you was gonna put across my hair? If it ain't in here, it's okay. It's another one. Okay, just rub it on my face. That's why I say put it on your fingers. That's how you do it like this. But you got it on your hands, so. You want me to put it on your chin? Put it all over. Don't bend more. No, you gotta, you gotta need a lot of more. You gotta put it, it just, man, it didn't leave it on the other side. Do I put it on your nose? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Look, mama, let me see your hand. Take your whole hand and rub it on this side of my face where I ain't none of it. And get all that off your hand. 
Mm -hmm. Almost out of my face. Isn't my it? hands kind of cold? Yeah. You can't fall asleep when it doesn't. A little bit. You should get space for me. You said what? You see, ah, oh, it's coming out. I know you say I can't fall asleep, but. Because then it'll party. Do it under here. You see? I should do it under here. We'll let this dry then. And then you got to come back in 15 minutes and see if it's dry. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna let this dry and relax my eyes. Oh, it just got like some. A little bit. You see? Mm, it feels dry. It do? Where the green it? It look like tape on my face, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> Get your hair your head. So what you gonna do? You gonna take it down out off or you gonna let it dry more or what? I'm gonna let it dry. A little more. It's getting tight. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Go to sleep. Okay, Z, can you turn off my light and close my door?